Okay, this is a 1965 Marion 183M. This model was first introduced by Marion in 1956 and had a production run that lasted up until 1974 with an estimated 37 units sold all around the world. Now let's get a closer look at this big crawler dragline and I'll tell you some technical information about it. Now as you can tell, this particular 183M is shut down out of service and sealed up to prevent vandals from going up inside, robbing the machine of copper, or tearing the inside of the machine apart. The mining company who owns this machine may still have potential use for it in the future. Because of that, that is the reason why the machine is sealed up and left on the side like this and not chopped up for scrap. Now 183M was available from Marion as either diesel or electric powered. Now the majority of these 183Ms were actually diesel powered, however this particular one you're looking at was electric powered. If this machine were set up as a diesel drag line, it would be set up with two big Caterpillar diesel engines, one big D398 to power the hoist on the machine. That engine produced 950 horsepower and a smaller D343 diesel engine which would produce 420 horsepower to power the drag and swing functions on the machine. From under here you can see the ring on the machine and behind that plate are all the individual rollers. Over here you can see where the two swing motors connect down to the ring. This is what will swing the drag line left or right. Here you can see where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. Now a 183M drag line was normally set up with 120 foot of boom, which is what you see on this one. Now the bucket on this 183M has long since been removed, but the standard bucket capacity for a 183M drag line is 9 cubic yards. In the front right here you can see where the drag rope runs out from inside the drum out through the fair lead. Now the whole purpose of a fair lead on one of these big drag lines is to keep the drag rope further away from the front of the machine and also it steadies the rope so that when the bucket is being casted out or pulled in the rope won't fishtail back and forth and tear the side of the house of this machine apart. This machine is chain driven and here you can see the big chain that's been pulled back but normally it would run back around the rear sprocket which you see here and it connects up to the drive sprocket which you see right here. This connects inside to the propel motor and when engaged this is what will travel the machine. Here you can get a good view of the operator's cab on the 183M and you can see the sheet metal that's been welded over the windows to prevent vandals from smashing them out. Also notice that the cab is angled so that the operator's view is focused out in front toward the dragline boom and bucket for better visibility. And on the side of the boom, you can see the angle indicator. This boom is set at about 37 degrees. The ideal position for any of these booms to be set at on a crawler dragline is anywhere from 35 to 40 degrees. And up top, you can see the A-frame with the ropes running up to hold up the drag line boom. The 183M was in production up until 1974 when Marion replaced the 183M with the newer 184M model. And the bucket capacity also increased from 9 to 10 cubic yards. But there she is, a 1965 Marion 183M electric drag line.